hi students today is the introduction to machine learning already we have submitted all the assignment one by one week 0 week 1 week 2 week 3 week 4 okay one by one we are explaining today we will come to the week number 4 non graded okay so in the non graded if you will see what they have asked these are very important okay machine learning don't miss the class so which of the following are convex function at first if you have uh, study the convex uh, the lectures okay so what is the convex a function is said to be convex uh, at an interval for all pairs of points on the graph okay the line segment that connect these two point passes above the curve so if you will study in this question okay so your answer if you have done the le lecture then the answer will be this now the second question we discuss to appropriate the classifications one of the learns and discriminant functions so at first we will understand actually what is the meaning of this discriminant function already we discussed in the previous lecture in the class also today we explain the discriminant analysis is a dimensionally uh, reduction technique okay that is commonly used to uh, supervised classification problem it is used for modeling difference in group okay so uh, if you we'll study okay difference in group okay the example uh, is to predict different personality types today we discuss about this one so according to this your answer will be c discriminant function because of an appropriate set of functions will allow to use efficiently this ambiguate class predictions okay already we discuss now now we will come to the question number three okay in the question number three so in the question number three consider the following example okay optimization problem okay this is actually uh, intermediate problem so this is the first function okay and this is the second function two function he has given select the correct option regarding this optimization problem okay so what is the optimization problem means in any condition that is the dynamic in any condition you are getting the solution okay so the solution of the function is this so how will you solve l x lambda is equal to this is the first function okay and this is the second function you will write at first to the minimum function then you will write lambda plus second function okay then you will solve okay lambda you will write here x square plus 6 lambda x then 1 plus 8 lambda if you will solve then the c is the correct answer now now we will show you now if you will solve the second one okay so you will differentiate it by with the help of x okay then you will get this answer okay so now so according also to our discussion according to our discussion the third answer will be a and c okay already we discuss now question number question number four question number four which of the following is true about the perceptron classifier today we discuss in the class okay so at first we will learn what is the perceptron okay so the perceptron is the linear machine algorithm for binary classification task it is a type of network model it's separate two classes again it is separate two classes by a line called hyperplane this is very important okay in the next uh, assignment we will discuss again okay so he should note so we are using the hyperplane in the space so your answer now again remember or is the linear and jor is the non-linear so your answer first is correct answer second is correct answer and third is also correct answer why because already we told it is separating two plane okay you have written okay you can see that okay separating two hyperplane already he has uh, we already told it is separating two hyperplane which this perceptron now question number last which of the following is are true regarding SPM so this is very very important in the last previous lecture already we discussed about SVM so what is the SVM uh, today also discuss support vector machine it is the most popular 
supervised learning algorithm used to classification and regression problem so now uh, it's uses to separating the hyperplane number first you should remember and more the number of support vectors so then the higher chances of the classifier uh, this is uh, overfit okay so what will be your answer what will be so according to our discussion your answer will be this okay means the separating higher plane second one is this Gaussian this is also separating hyperplane already we are discussing about the separating hyper SVM means okay now already we discuss uh, for the wing this is really overfit okay so this is your answer now we will submit the answer so our score is 5 by 5 all answer are correct you can see okay now we are coming to the main section the main section is week 4 okay in the week 4 he has given us uh, consider the data says given below okay again the same problem percept perceptron already we discuss learning algorithm okay so uh, again we will not discuss if we'll solve this problem and if you have done our lectures so and also the nptl lecture then the answer will be this okay i am not saying this is 100% correct true this will be true okay only if we normalize the feature okay according to my knowledge now the question number second question number second i will tell you question number second uh, now question number second which of the following loss function okay what is the loss function again actually this is uh, we are talking about the loss function okay what is the loss function the loss function uh, means 0 1 you should remember 0 1 function is not the convex he is asking about this is convex or not so 0 1 is the not convex number first and second one is hinge loss that is the uh, this is the loss uh, this is a convex okay hinge loss is the convex and log loss uh, it is also convex it is also continuous and differential function log loss means logistic loss and at last squared error loss so this squared squared means in the neural network it is not always convex a square function is strictly convex but the condition when it is uh, the second derivative is pos uh, positive okay when the second derivative is positive then this is this will be convex otherwise not so your answer will be second and third now which of the following are the valid kernel function he is asking what is the kernel function okay he is asking about the kernel function you should remember okay uh, the kernel function is a method to take data as input and transform it into the required form for processing data the example is just like polynomial gaussian radial and basis function laplace sigmoid kernel already we discussed in the class rbf kernel okay so uh, according to my knowledge answer will be this okay but some people they also discuss answer maybe this one and this one so i am keeping all okay now uh, question number four okay in the question number four in the question number four also again already we discussed if you we'll put the data here okay if you'll we'll keep the data here this x in this function here if you'll we'll keep then you can see that uh, it will separate okay it will be separable so your answer it will be true okay now question number five in the question number five SVM again he is talking about the SVM okay uh, he is uh, saying cannot be classified data it is not linearly separable even if you transform the higher dimensional space so already we discussed this is this is no, not correct okay already we told this is the we are separating two classes okay in SVM now the decision boundary obtained using the perception algorithm does not depend on the initial value of weight this is totally based on the weight okay so this is also false and again we will not discuss about the SVM already we discuss about the SVM and some people they have written answer will be 2 but according to my knowledge answer must be n minus 1 okay for this question and now we, I will not waste uh, already we have waste uh, 9 minutes now the last one if you'll put the data here so in the last question you will get the result this one okay then we will submit the answer 
थैंक यू सो मच ऑलरेडी टेन मिनट इज ओवर ओके थैंक यू प्लीज आवर रिक्वेस्ट टू एवरी वन एवरी वन दैट प्लीज सबमिट द असाइनमेंट एज फास्ट एज ओके एंड यू शुड शेयर टू योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो थैंक यू सो मच